Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to the Walt Disney World Dolphin, coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun To Be Free, inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at the Walt Disney World Dolphin where modern subtropical Floridian and entertainment architecture come together. The Walt Disney World Dolphin is a resort hotel located between Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios at the Walt Disney World Resort in Bay Lake, Florida next to Disney's Boardwalk Resort area. The Walt Disney World Dolphin is joined to its sister hotel, the Walt Disney World Swan, by a palm tree lined Michael Graves Causeway crossing a lake. The Walt Disney World Dolphin is composed of a 257 foot tall triangular tower bisecting a 12 story rectangular mass with four nine story wings on the swan side of the structure. The roof of each half of the main mass is adorned with a 56 foot tall dolphin statue. The Walt Disney World Dolphin has the grotto pool and beach. There's also the Disney shuttle bus, the dolphin meeting space, and the water taxi. The Walt Disney World Dolphin's meeting space is located just over to our left hand side. Let's go see that. And here's the convention entrance. And on the opposite side is the Disney shuttle bus. Let's go over there. Walt Disney World bus transportation is provided to the Magic Kingdom, Disney's Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, with transfers to the Disney water parks. On the top of the building is the Dolphin. Now it's time to head to the main lobby's entrance. There's the portico and the guest arrival area. Let's continue walking straight up ahead. Walt Disney World Dolphin. Here we are at the Walt Disney World Dolphin. Let's go through this fun revolving door into the lobby. And here we are inside the lobby with its large vaulted ceiling. Let's continue walking straight ahead and around the corner to the left hand side. If we make a left here, it takes us over to the reception area. There's the bell stand. Would you look at this gigantic front desk for check-in? Down on the far end is Concierge. Around the corner from Concierge is the Walt Disney World Dolphins meeting space. The convention center and ballrooms are right down there. Take a look at this humongous atrium with a dolphin fountain just down below. Words can't even describe how large this space is. Everywhere you look, there's plush sofas to sit and wait for your family and friends. On the other side of the fountain is the Finn's Lounge. Let's take a look at the beverages that they serve here. Finn's Lounge serves specialty drinks like a Smoke and Roses, a Pineapple Crush, a Barrel Aged Negroni, a 1565 Tiki, a Keys Margarita, and a Classic Whiskey Sour. Over to the right hand side is the Disney Planning Center and guest services. Next up are the East Elevators, but it looks like they're doing a little renovation work at the moment. Straight ahead is the lobby's main entrance and just over to the left hand side, here's fuel. Let's go inside and see what they have to offer here. Inside is a coffee and espresso quick service dining location. And Chill Out has frozen yogurt. Here at Pit Stop, they offer some cold beverages. And here's the candy bar, where you can get some sweets and treats. Let's go out this doorway here, make a right, and head over to the Central and West Elevators. The Central Elevators are just over to the left-hand side. Let's go up to the 20th floor and check out the interior guest room hallways. Let's hit the button and go up. Let's hit the button for the 20th floor. 20th floor. 
And over to the right hand side is a window. Down below is the lobby's main entrance. And way off in the distance is Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, the Magic Kingdom with Space Mountain, and Disney's Contemporary Resort. Here's what the guest room interior hallways look like. There's the room door entry and the room number plaque. Now let's head back down the elevator to the main lobby level. There's the elevators that we just got off of. Let's go through this little doorway here and make a quick left and head down to Disney's Gifts Sundries. For reference, here are the west elevators and over to the right hand side is where we're headed. There's Disney Gifts Sundries and over to the right hand side is Accents, but we'll see that in a moment. Let's go inside and take a look at the board games that you can play with your family. Let's see how much it is. And it's $49.99. Let's take a quick look at the gifts and sundries they offer here before we go back out the exit. Just next door is Accents. Let's just go take a quick look. They offer swimwear and dresses. It's time to reverse our direction. There are the west elevators again. Let's go straight ahead. Here's that large atrium again, but let's head over to our right hand side down this hallway here. Over to the left hand side is a Star Wars astromech droid. Only at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And here's a fun photo spot. Over to the right hand side is the Mandara Spa. There it is, right through there. On the opposite side is the hallway that leads down to Shula's Steakhouse. Don Shula is an NFL coach, and there's even a timeline representing his Super Bowl winnings. There's the check-in podium. Let's have a peek at the menu items. Shula Steakhouse offers items from the grill, like a 10-ounce filet mignon, a 16-ounce prime New York strip, a 22-ounce cowboy ribeye, and a 24-ounce Black Angus porterhouse. Through this doorway is the dining room. Here we are at the escalators. If we go down, it'll take us to the Walt Disney World Swan Hotel, dining, the water tax to Disney's Hollywood Studios in Epcot, and recreation. We're on the lobby level now. Let's take the escalator down and go down to ground level. Through the windows is the dolphin fountain. We'll go see that in a moment. Off to the right hand side is a fun little revolving door again. The fountain, eats, and sweets. Let's take a look at the menu items. The fountain specialties are desserts like a soft serve split, a create your own sundae, blast and brownie sundae, caramel apple sundae, an ice cream panini, and the fountain funnel. Here's this festive dining room. Let's continue down this hallway to the fitness center, pool areas, and restaurants. And here's the fresh Mediterranean grill. Let's see what's on the menu. Fresh Mediterranean market has wraps, like a turkey BLT wrap, a vegan wrap, a burger wrap, and a create your own wrap. And there's a quick look at the dining room. Let's continue down this hallway. If we were to make a right, it'd take us to the restrooms, the Caribbean room, and the central elevators again. But over to the left, where we're headed, is the pool areas, the fitness center, and the west elevators. There's a doorway, but if we make a right-hand turn, we end up at Peekaboo. Let's see what food offerings they have. Peekaboo serves chicken meals. For example, they serve a Peekaboo family meal and a Peekaboo market meal. Here's the large interior dining room with the serving area, just through there. And here's just a quick look at the serving area. Let's continue up ahead through this long hallway. There's the game room. Let's go inside and take a look. This arcade features an assortment of games. Next door is the guest laundry. Look at how big this laundry room is. There's another guest room interior hallway. Up ahead are some double doors that takes us out to the pool area, and off to the right is the fitness center. Let's go see that. The Dolphins Fitness Center has a large selection of equipment. Let's go out this exit here to the pool area. 
we've arrived at the grotto pool with the Walt Disney World dolphin towering off in the distance. Across the pool is the cabana bar and beach club. Let's go there. And here's a quick look at the bar. The cabana bar and beach club offers entrees like a grilled chicken BLT, fish tacos, buttermilk battered chicken crisp, shawarma kebab, and a classic burger. The Walt Disney World Dolphin has multiple pools to choose from, and off in the distance is the new Swan Reserve Hotel, but it's still under construction. There's also multiple Whirlpool spas to choose from. Here's the waiting pool for the Junior Explorers. This pool seems to go on forever. Here's an additional spa for the grown-up explorers, a waterfall, and the steps that lead up to the top of the water slide. There's the steps that go up to the water slide. Down below is the grotto pool and beach area, and off in the distance is the Walt Disney World Swan. And here's the top of the water slide. Down below is where the water slide meets the pool. This grotto pool just keeps going around the corner. Have a look at the large waterfall and the slide just over to the right hand side. And here's the beach area with its white sand where you can rent a swan boat. Let's head over to the Disney water taxi just across the lake. There's the dolphin's triangular structure. We're now on the Michael Graves Causeway and off in the distance is the Disney water taxi. Michael Graves is the architect that designed the iconic Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Hotels. Off in the distance is the Walt Disney World Swan. If you go on the right hand side of the dock, it'll take you over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. And the opposite side will take you to Epcot via Yacht Club, Beach Club, and Disney's Boardwalk. There's the Disney water taxi again. And here's the Dolphin's Fountain. There's the room balconies that overlook the large fountain. Across the lake is the grotto pool and beach area. And over to the right hand side are the guest room balconies. Now let's go back inside by going through those doors there. There's the fountain again. Up ahead is the escalator that takes you up to the lobby level. We're on the ground level now. And over to the right hand side is Todd English's Blue Zoo. Here's the check-in podium, the dining room, and the bar area off to the left hand side. Let's see what menu offerings they have. Todd English's Blue Zoo offers entrees like a Blue Zoo Simply Fish, a veal asobuku, a butler steak, and an Angus beef. Now it's time to head back to the main entrance of the lobby. Follow me. Over to the left hand side is an escalator that takes you up to the lobby level. Let's head up this escalator here. We're just coming off the escalator now. There's that atrium again. Let's head over to the left hand side and continue walking back towards the main entrance. Let's go through this revolving door again one last time and check out the portico before we leave. And head off in this direction here. I don't know. We're back. There's a time shift in the space-time continuum. Back at the main entrance again, we've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of the Walt Disney World Dolphin just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, 
See you later, explorers.